And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower! Welcome, I'm Tom Vassell. This is my daughter, Melody. Melody, let me ask you this. In the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, who's the bad guy? Goldilocks? Right. Goldilocks is the bad person. She goes into someone's house. She eats their food. Ooh. She sleeps in their bed. She breaks their chair. Ooh. Bad child. So in this game here, the Growl family is its English name. There is no yeah. Goldilocks. There is just the three bears. And they're trying to clean up this mess that someone left there for them. Goldilocks. Okay. This, this is actually a really entertaining game. Really fun for kids to play. Let's show you what the game looks like. Here we have the here three have bears. What is a Papa, typical four-player game. And this is bear. actually and they're around their table here. Ways. And on this table we see some tiles in the background there. On top of them. Well, and then players are basically trying to race to it. Their these are randomly are shuffled like in place sword there. Pieces. You can start the bears basically wherever you want. into the middle trying to get Then on each player's turn they're going to roll a die. You can race them as hard or as soft as you want. Two and three on its faces and then a picture of a bear. You can so you see roll the die. Let's the say you roll one, as, you as I did here. Based on where that I can pick is. one of the bears. If you look at each player's space board right there one. in the middle, you see I move a foul one, line. and then I turn Your over hand is the not tile to there. Go past that foul I look line. at that tile you and see is that the utensil you know, whatever that you need that to bear do. would use. Um, as long so this as is a knife. Shoot that distance All right, Would this bear, a couple bear, dead zones on that board? This knife lands on those. Well, how do I know that? Points at all. Those little. Yellow spots in the middle. Okay, but, but what if I say, well, that's not that tiny. You're just trying big. to shoot it off. How can I know you for can also sure see in the corners, that it's not Papa Bear's sorry, knife, where a piece can go that's flying that's off there, and that's a lot of fun to shoot it off. But when you have a big like, conglomeration like that, so you, you just saw how it was all broken up, and it's fun it's to like aim at other people's that's pawns. That's right. That actually Whenever you draw a tile, more now this one's pretty obvious, and it's Baby Bear's knife, and there's no way that it's Papa Bear's. But in case you're wondering, out of that, I you can guess take the bottom of him and place it there. You can and also, as you see here, set it, it up matches in one the size, then you know it matches that bear. Everyone shoots that one really long ramp. ramp. So it doesn't match the size, so I'm that done. Fun. It's I a turn it back to face over, I leave Papa Bear there, but everyone knows what that and tile because is, of the that higher they should that it requires, the next player rolls die, they get a quite three, a they move Mama so Bear three, the one, two, three, is they turn over a tile, and there's but a four. See, if you can get is that Mama Bear's four? Especially if you oh, can land it the bottom in that see. center hole. You know, it's, very it's too rewarding. small for her, and so they bear. a lot of fun here. And so you keep going. Once you find a tile, for example, here's a large fork. This is Papa Bear's fork, I think. Yes, it is. I keep that. I place another tile from the top of the stack there, and you keep going. Whenever you roll the bear symbol, you can take any bear you want and move them to any spot you want, which is really useful, especially if you've memorized where different um, utensils and such are. The only things that are on these tiles are knives, forks, and plates. And you can win by getting an entire set of one size. For example, this is a win here. If you got all three of these, all three of Papa Bears, or if you get six all together. That's basically the game. It's a very simple game, and yet it's not just luck. When a child rolls that die, they're going to decide which one of the three bears to move. And to me, that adds a lot of fun to the game. Am I going to move the little one, the, the mama one, or the papa? And the theme itself, Goldilocks and the three bears, is very accessible to all kinds of children. Children are going to love moving the bear. You're going to have to you know, stop the little kids from moving the baby bear all the time because he's so cute. You know, They'll, they'll want to always move him. But the idea of collecting sets, you know, trying to get three of one kind or try to get six total, that, that's a useful thing to teach the kids. The components are good. The board itself is two puzzle pieces that fit together. The bears are big, solid wooden bears. Uh, the die is its own custom wooden die, and the tiles are nice, good quality tiles. Everything fits inside a small box. The rules are only a couple pages of this book with multiple languages in it. And it's just a really nice package. A lot of fun for kids to play. And as an adult, I felt no, oh, I'm playing this game for the kids. It was fun trying to remember which <laughs> utensil, which plate was at each spot. It fits the theme. Goldilocks and Three Bears, we don't need Goldilocks. We can have a fun game with just the Growl family. And so to them, I say, clean up your house and have fun while you're doing it. And the... Um Baby bear is tiny, and it's a little, and the game itself is like memory game. Well, there you go, and that makes it fun. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.